There's Dishy. We got airplanes circling. We got a million RVs and uh, our Echo. And uh, this is the last day of our six week trip in the Echo this summer. And I'm gonna give you a tour of the Echo. And while I give you the tour, I'm gonna tell you about what I thought about it and you know some of the, the, the things that we found and down and dirty uh, about the Echo. Um, it's been a wonderful trip from Colorado South Dakota, Michigan, Maine. It's been it's been great. But I'm at EAA, which if you don't know, is uh, one of the largest air shows in the world. Millions of people come to look at airplanes, spend uh, almost a week looking at airplanes and having fun. But we're in Camp Scholler, which is this huge campground that is, as far as I can see, is all uh, um, uh, RVs. And we're here just happily camping no electricity just our solar and our generator we put 5,000 miles on the echo in the last six weeks driving around um, and the, what I can say is there has been no major issues after the issues that we had with the regulator and the, the inverter and stuff that was fixed by the dealer that's all gone there's been some minor issues that continue but I'll, I'll talk through those the coach has been just fabulous really really great the power the driving the ability to just put miles on it adaptive cruise control so when you're driving and it just keeps nice up with the car in front of you it has been wonderful to drive and uh and be in and it, it's great you can put on miles and miles and miles on this uh transit and again as i said you have oodles of power so much power that you can easily pass people easily keep up you can go 80 miles per hour and you got no 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 issues when very very happy with that coming around we have our outside this is kind of how we've had our kitchen set up we got this portable table i have a great video on that our, our uh our blackstone grill i did get a little grease on the back this has been kind of our appliance and beer cooler um you know the air fryer has been really amazing to have because we just plug it in right there put it on the table make the kids nuggets stuff like that the uh instant pot we've only used twice i don't know if i would bring it again um make some really good beer tacos but that's all we've used it for and a cooler and this, I would call this all our outdoor bug spray candles, that kind of thing. Coming around the back, um, I do want to talk about gas. We have used, in the last six weeks, we have used one tank of gas. And I guess that tank includes since we got the rig and we've done some cold weather camping, but that's it. I'm sorry if you hear airplanes. Again, I'm at an air show. Uh, it is just part of the experience. So one tank's done. We still have plenty of uh, juice in the other one. And we've been using these tanks also to run our portable fire pit as well. We got laundry basket. That's our box for Dishy. Uh, which I'll talk about when we go over to the dish some suitcase on our storage ample ample storage But we have filled it. I mean it is full 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 two paddle boards all these totes uh, We've got it full the only thing I would not bring next time is this guitar We don't need a guitar for six weeks on the road um, Plenty of work for the plenty of room for the kids the exo box has been flawless this is where all our life jackets, our grill, and our portable fire pit go. Um, and the bike rack's been awesome. I wish we could have been able to get one more bike out um, with we us. We brought a bunch of folding chairs, some folding tables. This is a new addition to the family is a, a wagon, folding wagon, which tucks nicely in the bay. Um, uh, it's just a Walmart wagon. Been really, really good. And for... Uh, the um, campground this is how we've been carrying around our stuff to the air show is with the um, the one wheel and the the wagon I can put my little guy in there my wife gets on my, my older boy's bike he, my older boy then gets on the small bike and we ride all around it's been wonderful uh, 
the bug screen amazing you have to get one for uh traveling in um minnesota wisconsin michigan i mean there it is bug city get one of those so uh, a couple things this window the hardware of this window did break off it broke off uh stripped all the screws out all the other one windows have been fine haven't had any issues with the latches or anything like that the black tank uh the black tank we've been having to empty probably every three or four days with the forest bus when you use it it's nice when you're at a campground campground when you have a restroom you can use instead of that um, but it has been it has been what it is water we've had uh you know we got 50 gallons of the fresh water uh been keeping that pretty full easily um just topping it off at various campgrounds then that's been lasting us about five days with um two showers for each of us in that period i know we're talking quick quick navy showers for us before i take you inside it's a mess uh, we're more focused on having fun at the show than keeping the rig clean. But I want to show you what a family of four does to an Echo after uh, six weeks on the road. So come on in. Corbin, how has uh, been sleeping up top in the Echo bin? Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, you like it? Has it been comfortable with you and your brother? Nice. Getting shoes on. So dilemma number one is shoes we had bought these little trays they work great but still shoes tend to pile up here um when we come in i'm gonna pass you little buddy we have uh been hanging garbage there plus i gave garbage on the outside door these cubbies are now full of crap everything toys action figures keys kindles uh, been just stuff full of all the knickknacks. The living room has been comfortable. Most of the mornings we only flip this seat. Uh, this seat we rarely flip and just keep all our bags there. Since we're here for five days at Oshkosh, we decided to let the whole living room flow in. We've been running a, a pantry up here. And then up here, it's been a, still our kitchen stuff and some more dry goods, cereal crackers, that kind of thing. Um, the boys have been uh, enjoying the seats. No complaints. They've been here for uh, hours and hours and hours on the long drives. My wife has even come back here during long drives and worked and had no issues. And then here's, this is, this is the only thing that broke is this, this, uh, uh, the the arm to extend out the thing we've been using a a bike pump to keep it out when we need the, the fresh air uh, I have sent in a video how terrible these screens are they continue to be terrible the stripping we added the little brush stripping we added that I got in uh, northern Michigan and a hardware store have been helping quite a bit but still bugs can get in our kitchen set up has been like this a lot with the coffee machine out um, cutting board and then uh the dishes we had taco night last night so we got some stuff there um a little cramped uh i don't know if i would flip it like i've seen a lot of people put the the um sink on the other side it's been okay most of our cooking i would say 95 percent has been done outside on the Blackstone, but I have used the burner quite a bit for breakfast, not really dinner. Um, and then we still have all our cooking stuff and then our uh, utensils. And it's a, it's, it's a little worn. Um, the boys love the big TV. Big TV has been great for a family movie night. Uh, watching, we only really watch it on the road while driving once. I do want to talk about the pop top, how the pop top, it ventilates, it gives you so much nice air and sunlight when you're in here. Uh, and then the boys have been sleeping great. And it is a game changer to have, uh, there's a boy back there, FYI. It's been a game changer to have a space for them 
to sleep and to play while we're down here trying to make dinner or trying to um, do stuff. I, I smitten with the pop top. So we do have two leaks. We have a leak right here. There's a leak. It's a very slight leak in heavy rains that comes right behind here. I think it's where the, the box attaches this chassis. And then the rings, uh, the seal rings of the vent also leak. So even if the vent's closed, we'll get some leaking up there as well. So another great thing about the kitchen is the fridge. Co compared to the Revel, it's so much space. And you can really, really stuff things in here and, and carry quite a bit of food, uh, in, even in the fridge. So the fridge has been great. Kitchen has been solid. Now let's talk about the bathroom. Bathroom also um, has been good. No issues, nothing broken or anything. We have taken quite a few showers in there and the shower system with the magic hiding shower has been really pretty uh, effective and uh, it's been good. So th the shower is a little tight and the bathroom is a little tight for, for you know, a bigger guy. So we put this up and this has been a lifesaver. So when we shower, we actually lift it up and put it on the other side of the door for more elbow room. The toilet also has been okay. Um, and I mean by okay is, you know, we're traveling with two young boys. So uh, I've been cleaning the bathroom a lot more than I would expected. Same with the whole sink and everything. Um, but I guess, you know, sharing a bathroom does that back to the bedroom these beds have been very comfortable for both of us having the fan up there in the pop top has been just solid in getting air in here especially on the stuffy nights we've used the air conditioner once uh, just to cool down the coach uh, on a very hot day but after that we've turned it off so we haven't had to use air conditioning because we get, you get so much ventilation from these windows and from the front of the windows as well. Um, I put these hooks up. They've been r really good at just keeping everything out of the way up. The charging situation is great with the plugs, both inside uh, the cabinets and outside. I've been super happy with the plugs. And we've left it in nightstand and not once have we had to flip it into the queen bed mode for uh, the boys. This is, we thought we'd be working a lot back here. I have worked back here on this nightstand, you know, sitting upright in this table, but never lounging back here. Uh, so I don't think I'd ever bring one of those or let a child bring a giant stuffed animal because every night I have to move my backpack, all this stuff to the front seat. And I made this trip a lot. So this has been our home for the last six weeks. Uh, really great if you're thinking about getting an echo i would definitely get one especially if you have a family that you need the pop top is is just something that they don't really offer on anything else all-wheel drive pop-up power um very happy with this we went camping with our friends with uh um a solace that you know seemed pretty cool but they were they weren't very happy with the performance of the engine um also seemed like a great rig but just having this big box of space awesome so my only other complaint about everything is the keys so you use a key to drive this you have to stick a key in and um, it dangles if you have a keychain on your knees so there's got to be a way to get like keyless on this like the rebel or uh, modern automobiles I had to take the the I had to take my key ring off of it because it would just sit and scratch my knees the whole time. This box has been great for uh, the kids getting their feet up. Plus, then we have the storage in there for all our coffee. And it's getting pretty low because we are at the end of the trip. I do want to talk about my little friend, Dishy McFlat Flat Face, and how amazing Starlix has been. And I'll have a separate video of it. Um, going a little more in depth, but just to be able to grab your dish, put it out, plug in this box, 
up there has been a game changer. I mean, just a huge, huge improvement in our RV world. Both me and my wife work remotely and we have traveled before, uh, done a lot of camping with our pop top and stuff. And just being reliant on a cellular signal isn't amazing, you know? And it's not just for entertainment or anything like that, but trying to get actual work done uh, is not, not easy. With this though, we've been able to just plug it in with a clear line of sight, uh, get some signal. Even without a clear line of sight, you can get signal to, to make the internet usable, send emails, that kind of stuff. But once it's clear, you get fast, fast internet. And here we are in Oshkosh with, you know, 50,000 other campers. And I've seen dozens of Starlinks here and I haven't had any performance uh, issues or signal degradation. We wanna talk about power, power from the Echo. Um, we have the lithium battery and generator and solar. And um, we have had to run the generator twice. And it's mainly been because of the dish and the air fryer. <laughs> if we use the dish and the air fryer, um, it does take a, a huge chunk of the battery and then we have to charge it. Most of the time, most of our charging actually comes from the transit itself, giving us the juice, you know, so whenever we get to a destination, essentially we're full. The uh, solar panels will do a great job keeping the, the fridge fully, fully charged, uh, getting us near top off whenever we leave the rig in a, a sunny space. I do have an interesting story. We we spent um, 10 days in Maine on our adventure and left the Echo in O'Hare Airport uh, in, a, in a hotel parking lot there and uh, left only the fridge on, turned everything else off. And when we came back, we came back to a full battery and cold beer in the fridge. So it was no problem leaving it running for 10 days uh, with just the solar going. Most of the time our battery has been lasting us uh, all the time. Uh, we haven't had any issues with the mix of solar and stuff uh, other than the two times that we've had to use the generator. And that's even running the, the crazy coffee machine three or four times in the morning uh, and and keeping the, the dish going uh, for the internet. So power has been solid. If I would do it again, I wouldn't mind if I could get the second battery bank. I don't know if you can get the second battery bank with the generator. Um, the generator has been a nice backup to have though, so I, I can't complain. That's it. That's the completion of our trip. <laughs> the lightest one? 4,600 miles, almost 100 hours, 12 miles per gallon. 6,000 miles overall on the Echo. Rest my sweet vehicle. I hope you've enjoyed following along in our adventures. If you uh, haven't, subscribe, check out some of my other videos, um, and enjoy. Thanks for watching. Oh, I see a foot. I see a foot in there. So that's good.